success and dreams. Why do you think God chooses sometimes? Some of you tonight may be watching and you're saying, I kind of had a dream like that. I, I know you have dreams all the time and you're like, what does that mean? How is God going to use this dream? How, why do you think God chooses to use dreams and how can we listen to those dreams? Uh, you know, the um, same experience happened with uh, Samuel, you know, because yes. uh, God was calling him in a book of Samuel. Uh, yes. Samuel, Samuel, and he was listening while he was sleeping. You mm -hmm. know, that was not, he was awake. So God was calling him because that was a very prophetic time for the nation of Israel because mm -hmm. a nation of Israel was going through a, that tough time and they didn't need a voice of God because God didn't spoke to Israel mm -hmm. for a while. And right. that was a young kid, you know, and God, the voice of God was calling him, and but he was keep getting up and going to Elijah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we uh, have a vision, but we don't have an understanding of that vision. Right. Mm -hmm. Because that's we think sure. our, our dream, because we think that's our conscience, that's that's probably something me think. Yes. You know? yes. But sometimes God calling you, but you're not having that conscience, like spiritual conscience to awaken, you know? Yes. Because we need to be awakened spiritually. Mm -hmm. uh, my conversation, uh, my confirmation came from other pastors that they say, you know what? Um, come in the right environment. Because sometimes we are, uh, we have the dream, we have have the vision mm -hmm. but we are in a wrong environment yeah that's we need so to good be brought back into the right environment mm -hmm. around right people you tell me what kind of friends you hang around i will tell you your future right yeah. and that's that's, that's how you have to be planted in a right environment in order for you to grow and understand your dream and then you will begin to understand why god called you for that particular situation because the voice of God needed to be here uh, to be heard in the nation of Israel and I believe that God called me for this particular time where we have all millennials are coming out of their mm -hmm. comfort zone and they there needs to be encouraged they needs to be motivated so that's I mm -hmm. believe that that's a very particular reason I didn't know it before but now I understand why God called me now mm -hmm. that's amazing yes. what about vision TV is that did you say you had something called vision TV uh, vision TV is brought Broadcast currently uh, Middle East, okay. uh, all over. So we partner with other TV channels in Pakistan. Uh, but I'm very passionate about leadership. I believe um, what is leadership? Leadership is influence, and yes. I want to, um, you know, lead people with influence. Uh, the 26th president of uh, United States, Theodore Roosevelt, said, yeah, "People don't care how much you know until they know um, how much you care." Yes, so. You cannot influence people without caring. You know, Maxwell That's said so you cannot lead. You, you can lead people without loving them, but you cannot love them without leading. So, Ooh. so I believe that. In order to create influence, I need to love people. Mm -hmm. I need good. to tell them Jesus is love, God is love. Bible said God is love, yes, and does. whoever do, and who uh, don't have love, they are not born of God. So right. we want to make sure that we love people, we polish mm -hmm. people, we bring people forth. You know, because out there there are great voices, but they needs to again, they needs to be planted mm -hmm. in a right environment. I believe I'm the environment that God created me for people, so I can reach out to them. Those younger millennials generation that wants to come out and reach the world for the nation uh, for the name of Jesus Christ I believe it is a time for Millennials to yes. come out and reach the entire world not just yeah. Middle East I'm talking about United States I'm talking about Canada I'm talking about Europe Africa right. everybody needs to hear Jesus I'm yeah. not gonna rest until I preach Jesus to mm -hmm. every single uh, creation who has a breath of life Awesome. That is so awesome. I love that. And it's so important um, to know your vision and to know who you are called to reach out to. We're all called to, uh, we have a voice, Ephesians 2 and 10 says, we are his workmanship created yeah. in Christ Jesus to do good works, which Christ prepared in advance for us to do.